How is a helicopter service like Blade Urban Air Mobility making the leap to electric flying taxis? What innovations are driving this shift in urban transportation? How will this change the way we travel in cities? Stick around as we uncover Blade's exciting transition to EVI tolls and what it means for the future of urban air travel. Let's get started. As cities around the world get more crowded, the need for new ways to get around has become urgent. Blade Urban Air Mobility, Inc., often called Blade, is stepping up to meet this challenge. Based in New York City, Blade is using its deep experience in helicopter services to move into the exciting world of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Right now, Blade mainly focuses on helicopter services, targeting busy urban markets. The company operates in major cities like New York, Vancouver, and various spots in Southern Europe. Their first route, launched in 2014, connects Manhattan to popular getaway spots like Southampton, East Hampton, and Montauk. This service has been quite successful, bringing in around $45 million in revenue from its short-distance business in 2022. What's interesting about Blade is its asset light model. This means they don't own or operate the helicopters themselves. Instead, they partner with trusted aircraft operators, ensuring safety and high-quality service. This approach allows Blade to stay flexible and grow quickly, adapting to the changing needs of urban air travel without the heavy costs of owning aircraft. Beyond transporting passengers, Blade has made significant strides in the medical field with its Medimobility Organ Transport Division. After acquiring Trinity Air Medical in 2021, Blade became the largest dedicated air transporter of human organs for transplant in the U.S. This service uses the same aircraft that carry passengers, which helps improve efficiency and boosts Blade's reputation in critical transport logistics. Switching to EV tolls is a big move for Blade, driven by the need to tackle challenges in urban air travel. Blade has projected certification by 2025, with some aircraft certified as soon as 2023. The company wants to take advantage of improvements in battery technology and aerodynamics that make EV tolls a good alternative to helicopters. For instance, the EV tolls being developed by Blade's partners are expected to fly between 150 and 250 miles on a single charge, making them perfect for city commutes. A key part of Blade's shift to EV tolls is its partnerships with top manufacturers like Beta Technologies and Joby Aviation. Working with these companies is crucial for developing and testing EV toll technology that fits urban settings. For example, Beta Technologies ALIA 250 EV toll has a range of around 250 miles and can carry up to five passengers, focusing on efficiency and sustainability. Plus, it's much quieter than traditional helicopters, making it ideal for city use. Joby Aviation is another important partner, focusing on speed and distance. Joby has also received significant support, including a $100 million investment from the Toyota Group, which helps them ramp up production. These partnerships not only give Blade access to the latest technology, but also allow them to influence how EVTOLs are designed and operated to meet market needs. These collaborations go beyond just technology, they also include working together on regulatory compliance and safety certification. Blade's strong relationships with aviation authorities help them navigate the challenges of integrating EV tolls into current airspace systems. For example, Blade is actively collaborating with the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, to make sure their operations meet safety standards and regulations, which are essential for successfully launching EV toll services. Switching to electric aircraft brings a lot of benefits that meet both market needs and environmental goals. One of the biggest advantages is the drop in carbon emissions. This change is especially important as cities work to meet strict emissions targets. Cost efficiency is another strong reason for Blade's move to EV tolls. Operating traditional helicopters can be expensive due to high fuel and maintenance costs. This reduction in costs could lead to lower ticket prices for passengers. Currently, Blade charges between $200 and $600 for helicopter rides, but with EV tolls, fares could potentially drop to around $100 to $300, making urban air travel more affordable for more people. Safety improvements are also a key factor in the shift to EV tolls. 
Many FTOL designs come with advanced fly-by-wire control systems that boost maneuverability and stability. Plus, these aircraft often have redundant propulsion systems, meaning that if one system fails, the aircraft can still fly safely. This level of safety is crucial for building public trust in urban air travel solutions. Blade aims to achieve a safety record that meets or exceeds current commercial aviation standards, which is essential for getting widespread acceptance. Blade's existing infrastructure gives it a big edge as it shifts to EV tolls. The company already has a network of over 15 terminals in busy urban areas, which can easily be adapted for EV toll landing zones. This setup is key for smooth operations and helps reduce the time needed to bring new aircraft into current routes. Additionally, Blade's strong relationships with city officials and regulatory bodies make it easier to negotiate and comply with rules as it rolls out EV toll services. The company's experience in dealing with the complexities of urban airspace will be a huge help when introducing new aircraft. For instance, Blade has partnered with local governments in cities like Los Angeles and Miami, allowing it to look into dedicated air traffic corridors for EV tall flights. Blade also uses data from its current operations to shape its EV tall strategies. By studying passenger demand and how efficiently things are running, Blade can fine tune EV tall routes and schedules to boost usage and profit. This data-driven approach positions Blade as a leader in the fast-changing urban air mobility scene. As Blade gets ready to transition to EV tolls, its market position looks strong. The company is in a great spot to take advantage of the growing interest in urban air mobility solutions, especially as cities work to ease congestion and reduce environmental impacts. This indicates plenty of opportunities for growth. However, moving to EV tolls comes with its challenges. Regulatory issues and public acceptance will be key factors in how quickly these aircraft are adopted. Blade needs to navigate the complexities of air traffic management and secure the necessary certifications to operate EV tolls in urban areas. The FAA's ongoing efforts to create EV toll regulations, including a new air traffic management system, will be vital for Blade's success. Despite these hurdles, there's significant growth potential in new markets and regions. As urban air mobility becomes more mainstream, Blade's proactive approach to adopting EV tall technology positions it as a leader in the industry. The company is also looking into expanding internationally, particularly in Europe and Asia, where urban congestion and the demand for innovative transportation solutions are increasing. What do you think? Can Blade Urban Air Mobility successfully lead the charge in EVTOL technology? Share your thoughts in the comments below.